Okay, so I've got some updates on this. Uh, I resolved an issue with the terrain, and I'm going to show you what the problem was with this uh, set over here. So basically, the issue is since these guys were height mapped, I was doing an, an aspect ratio on them to fill in the distribution of points on the height map to make it, you know, not have uh, holes through the voxels. And I can do that by just changing this aspect ratio here. Um, so the issue with that is that uh, if you have a angle on the camera, since that aspect's being done in screen space, you end up getting some really weird distortion and uh, you start losing, anytime there's a clip or anything on these guys, you end up losing detail in it. And it just looks, you know, straight up and down. So what I did to resolve that, I'm going to keep this system uh, with a lower polygon count and lower ver uh, poly uh, billboard count on LOD. So this is LOD 1, this will be LOD 2, uh, where it's, you know, real, real low poly and chunky. Still looks good. The fact that it's got that vertical stretch to it, uh, as you can see off in the distance down here, doesn't really matter. You know, it ends up looking pretty good. Um, but what I did is the same thing that I did with the tanks. So this guy, instead of being just a height map, is actually voxelized. Uh, and so it'll be turned into an actual voxel field. So uh, now we have a pretty even distribution of, of points on the surface. Uh, I used uh, 3ds Max's uh, retopology tool to do this particular voxelization because it keeps the UVs. Uh, and then after I've done that, I use a plugin that I downloaded or paid for called Contrast Pro that will uh, extrude, uh, like increase the, uh, the, the detail uh, on, the, on the mesh. And uh, it's pretty subtle what I've done this time around. Uh, let me go ahead and show you that. So... Here's my example. Uh, well, actually, that's not the one we were looking at. It's this one. So here's the example of that area. Uh, if I turn off the Contrast Pro, I hit the wrong one. So there it is, just as a pure like retopology. You can see it's pretty pretty bushy. Um, so what I can do, though, is I turn the Contrast Pro on, and suddenly, oh, you get some de detail in there. And you can, you can crank this up to, like, ridiculous amounts. Uh, that's obviously overkill. But uh, at a simple one, that's pretty good. Uh, and ends up, you know, adding quite a bit of detail in there and, and looking really, really nice. And then the end result is that you've got this thing that uh, doesn't need to have the vertical stretching. You can look at it top down. And it holds up the voxely look uh, without weird stretching. Um, and again, we're only using this on uh, LOD one or zero, so that's fine, uh, not a big deal. And uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, pretty cool. Um, even the little flickering you get there with with the voxels sort of interfering with themselves, it feels retro to me. It doesn't need to be super clean. I love the little rocks, how they turned out. Like, just these little impressionistic rocks just add so much to it. Uh, and the fact that it's all, like, automatically generated, I didn't have to hand place any of that crap. It just is uh, based on the world machine settings. Uh, is a delight to me. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I basically now just have to go in and set these guys up to have the proper shadow casters. They, they don't have that right now. Where the... Uh, um, the issue is that uh, the, the voxelized mesh will disappear through either the build or a teleport, but the, uh, the fallback for the shadow caster is just using the mesh. So I just need to alter that, and I'm not going to worry about constructing a whole new mesh. I'm just going to use, or, or, you know, doing a voxelization, doing a, a, a billboard on the shadow caster. I'm just going to use a dithered alpha uh, and pass that through to the shadow caster so that when things you know drop below a certain threshold they just sort of fuzz out in the shadow map and then uh it'll just disappear and look right and that way we also don't see things like with the the uh the teleport over here with uh you know when it when it starts to teleport like you don't see like the streaks in the sky casting shadows it just will be like disappeared so that's cool anyway that's where i'm at